tonight, grand final fever. Please, please, we cannot have a draw. The Pies and Saints slogging it out at the G. News at 5 with George Denikian. Good evening. Welcome to this special grand final edition of 10 News and a classic contest for supremacy between Collingwood and St Kilda. It's in the stages, the closing stages of the, uh, of the football, of course, at the home of uh, football in this state, that is the MCG, and that's where we find Kelly Underwood. She joins us live. Kelly, it is a gripping contest. Well, George, for the second straight year, the season decider is going to go down to the absolute wire. The MCG is rocking behind me. We're in the final stages of the last quarter. Collingwood has led all day, but the Kilda Football Club will not be denied. It's about the 16-minute mark of the final term, and it is the Pies by one point. An enormous crowd is in. The uh, crowd has just been posted up on the large screen, 100,016. It was Collingwood by six points at quarter time. By 24 at half time, they led by eight points at three quarter time. But the Saints will not be denied. It has been a memorable day, one not to forget. Let's have a look at how it's all unfolded. Braving a cold night, undeterred MCC members queued in their thousands, the line snaking its way around the ground. We've been doing our maths this morning and we reckon we're about 8,000 back. Some left nothing to chance, queuing since midweek for the top spots. Down the front near the Collingwood Rice, that's what I'm after. At the stroke of 8am, the crowd stormed through. We've been here since about 6 o'clock, but we just made it, so we're as happy as. Diehards came from around the globe. All the way from London. Uh, got here last night at 9.30, and I fly out tomorrow, so hopefully it's worth it. Plenty still trying to snaffle a ticket. And when you come from Tassie, it's not easy to get a ticket. Even those without tickets congregated to the sacred site. For the premiership's a cake walk for the good old Collingwood. 40 slabs of EB, two slabs of light ice, four slabs of Jim Beam, 400 sausages. Those after a more gourmet affair attended the annual North Melbourne breakfast. Please, please, we cannot have a draw. <laughs> Our nation just couldn't bear it. Australians deserve a result today. After 24 matches between the two teams, this is the moment that fans have been waiting for. Those with pre-match nerves relaxed by singing about their favourite things. Stevie Mills, Stevie Mills, Stevie Mills. As little fans were initiated, future players came to get a glimpse of grand final glory. We've been, been playing you know, well the last couple of weeks, so um, it's hard not to go for it. As did former stars. I like uh, St Kilda to win because I used to <laughs> hate Collingwood because they used to give me a lot of crap when I played. I used to get 10 goals and they used to throw goal balls at me. So, and I, I do like Rewild, so I reckon if he kick six, they're going to win. This is Warwick Haber signing off for Channel 10. Or Kate McGrath, 10 News. And George, the Saints have just hit the front for the first time. They lead by six points. Ben Lewis is in the heart of Collingwood Territory. We feel for him at this point in time. Ben, you're at the Sydney My Music Bowl. If you can hear me, take it away. Kel, Collingwood fans here have not liked that news. You just said the Saints have just pulled in front by a goal. There's about 8,000 or so Pies supporters here. Say what you like about it, people often do. They are loud and very passionate indeed. This is a venue that's usually used for operas and symphony orchestras. Everyone here is hoping Mick Malthouse and his boys can create their own modern masterpiece. Not a candle in sight. Today, it's Carols by Collingwood. <laughs> Thousands of Pies faithful filled the bowl. Many were here from dawn in a line that almost reached the Yarra. The gates didn't open at their advertised time. Some supporters called for divine intervention. And Eddie, help us! He must have heard their prayers and they eventually poured in. Empire! The run for the best seats left some a little drained. Good thing there was someone on hand to put colour back into your face, even if she was supporting the wrong team. I go for the Saints. You're not wearing any colours though. I didn't want to get hurt. At Dane Swan's club, there's no shortage of takers for tats. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Lovely. One fan's magnificent mullet, reminiscent of styles not seen since the 1990 grand final. Hey, well, I figure, you know, if they all got to go and stereotype us, I'm going to go out there and just go and give it right back to them. The mood was good, the supporters confident. 
Uh, I think we're going to win today. We're going to smash them, don't worry. We'll smash them. And while everyone would rather have been at the G, there's one advantage of being here. So we don't have to put up an inch and kill the supporters. <laughs> As with any final, there were highs and lows. But every Pies fan will remember the day they turned the bowl black and white. Ben Lewis, 10 News. And the Saints now lead by just five points after Collingwood managed to get a behind back. Of course, there'll be some very excited St Kilda fans at their live site. That's where our Hermione Kitson is. Hermione, how are they enjoying this final quarter? Oh, Ben, the atmosphere is absolutely intense. Um, as um, here in the heart of St Kilda, supporters hold their breath and they do will their Saints to victory. It would be a fairy tale ending after a perfect day here in sunny St Kilda, enjoyed by 4,000 die-hard fans. Even the smallest members of the St Kilda faithful marched in early to support their Saints. Go Saints! Woo! Among the fans who flock to the heart of St Kilda, some who've gone 44 years between premiership drinks. We're going to kill him. And, uh, no worries at all. Too. And that was the feeling as the Saints kicked their first goal of the game. But as Collingwood dominated in the early stages, there were some anxious faces, hoping not to see a second consecutive premiership loss. They've set us up for a win this year, so we're ready to win. Some divine intervention seeing St Kilda claw some ground back towards the end of the first quarter. Yeah, we're praying today, for sure. <laughs> Others driving their message home. Brave Pies fans among the pack, unfazed about being outnumbered. The reason why I came here is to see all those guys go home sad. We're living dangerously, I think, down here. But locals were determined not to be outdone, especially on their home turf. It's stressful, it's stressful, but I know they can win. I'm sure they can win. Hermione Kitson, 10 News. Go Saints! And we'll cross back, of course, to the G a little later when the final siren... Welcome back. The siren has just sounded on a history-making 2010 grand final with a game finishing in a draw. That means both teams will be back next week. 10's Kelly Underwood is at the MCG and Kelly, unbelievable. George, unbelievable. It says it all, doesn't it? 100,016 fans crammed into the cauldron, the home of football behind me for two brutal hours. They're streaming out the moment in an absolute state of shock, disbelief, almost silence. They cannot believe it. It is a draw for the first time in 33 years. Cast your mind back. It was 1977, Collingwood v North Melbourne on that day. And that was the last, uh, I guess, draw that we've seen in the Australian rules football, of course. Collingwood, a little bit of irony there. Well, they played in that game. Wonder if it'll be the result from the mid-70s. And of course, well, 1966, you have to think of as well. It was when these two sides last played in a grand final on that day. It was the Saints by one point. They nearly got there. Let's have a look at the final score. It was Collingwood 9-14-68. St Kilda 10-8-68. Collingwood led at every change. They led by 24 at half time. The vibe in the MCG was the pie. A little bit of money out of this. We'll extend the season. We've had 176 AFL matches. It can't be decided. We'll be back next week. Ben Lewis is in the heart of Collingwood Magpie territory. I feel for him again, Ben. You're at the Sydney Meyer Music Bowl. What has the reaction been among the 13,000 there? Well, Kelly, what can you say? It's confusion, disbelief. Everyone here is absolutely stunned. You should have heard the roar when that Collingwood goal was kicked shortly before the end of the game. Big feeling of optimism. Everyone thought perhaps the Pies could do it. And then the score's tied. How are you supposed to feel? There were people crying with happiness before. Now people are just unsure. I guess everyone's going to be coming back here next week. That being said, it's been a fantastic day. So I suppose no one minds having to do it again. I'm assuming the mood will be pretty similar down at the St Kilda Live site. Hermione Kitson, how is everyone there coping with this bizarre result? Well, after staging such an impressive fight back, fans here are simply in disbelief. Now, after holding their breath through pretty much every single minute of that final quarter, they are bitterly disappointed that the Saints didn't come away with a premiership victory, the first in 44 years. In a very ominous sign, a very dark cloud has just descended over St Kilda after what's been a perfectly sunny day. And I'm sure that um, next week, come next week, I'm sure all these fans will be back here again, more determined than ever to come away with a premiership.
Leadership Cup. Thank you very much, uh, Marnie. Again, everybody still in disbelief. Well, we